Hi, this is Justin, and I'm going to go over a quick video on um, the Profile Placer tool in uh, Matrix. So I've got a ring rail and a curve here, and this will eventually be a uh, split shank halo. Um, I select Profile Placer from the toolbar here. Let me close down some of these so you can see that. Um, pull that out there. Anyways, um, select that. It's going to draw a profile up. And let's just start with a basic square or a rectangle. I don't know. Let's make it two millimeters by 1.7. That sounds good. Okay, so now that we have one on there, we can come up here and click add. Come back and grab the uh, little position ball here and move it up. If you notice it twists so let's just grab the roll and kind of twist it back. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, you can also use the sliders over here in your uh, profile window. Now that's going to give a nice uh, little split shank and then you just mirror that all the way around. Um, one thing to think about with square shanks like this is finishing them out. I mean, sometimes that's exactly what you want, and um, sometimes it depends on how you're going to make it. Um, I've been growing most of my models lately, and I just find that they're smoother and there's less uh, lines from the STL and how it grows, the stepping, if the object is a little more organic. So I'm going to show you how to edit these profiles. So let's grab this profile, edit it right here. It's going to pull up another window. There we go. Let's uh, actually let me move this back. There we go. So, just some quick, simple editing of the profile. Make sure you join it. It needs to be a joined close um, curve. Let's uh, let's fill out the edges a little bit to soften it up just a little bit more. There we go. So now I have a nice, it's still going to be pretty square, but I think it'll grow a little better um, anyways, in my opinion. Let's return it. You have to scale it, put it on the baseline, set the seam. You can save it or not, and then you can return it, and it'll now be the new profile. It changed this one. It didn't change this one. So let's just redraw that. to the top roll now we have a nice um, smooth surface here And I think that'll that'll grow nicely and give you a nice shape. Let's see what that'll look like um, mirrored around. Here's a little shortcut for that for you matrix users. If you notice the position it's in, looking down, it's in this position, and you can hit apply. Well, you have to have the right thing selected, but. You just build the bottom of the shank and the top, and you're good to go. I think that's 
enough for this video. I mean, it's just a quick, this is the profile placer. If you're going to place one on the bottom, you could add one. Um, you can also add and then add a mirror and then um, when you move the curves up they'll they'll come on up together but if you're trying to match this profile here then you really don't need to do that Anyways, that's uh, that's basic profile placer and editing tools for Matrix.